life's top priority. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6 verses 33 This is the first great object, the kingdom of heaven, the righteousness of Christ. Other objects to be attained should be secondary to these. Satan will present the path of holiness as difficult, while the paths of worldly pleasure are strewed with flowers. In false and flattering colors will the tempter array the world with its pleasures before you. Vanity is one of the strongest traits of our deprived natures, and he knows that he can appeal to it successfully. He will flatter you through his agents. You may receive praise which will gratify your vanity and foster in you pride and self-esteem. And you may think that with such advantages and attractions, it really is a great pity for you to come out from the world and be separate and become a Christian. But consider that the pleasures of earth will have an end, and that which you sow, you must also reap. Our personal attractions, ability, or talents too valuable to devote to God, the author of your being, he who watches over you every moment. Are your qualifications too precious to devote to God? The young urge that they need something to enliven and divert the mind. I saw that there is pleasure in industry, a satisfaction in pursuing a life of usefulness. Some still urge that they must have something to which the mind can turn for relief and refreshment amid cares and wearing labor. The Christian's hope is just what is needed. Religion will prove to the believer a comforter, a sure guide to the fountain of true happiness. The young should study the word of God and give themselves to meditation and prayer, and they will find that their spare moments cannot be better employed. Young friends, you should take time to prove your own selves, whether you are in the love of God. Be diligent to make your calling and election sure. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Make this first and last. Seek most earnestly to know him whom to know aright is a life eternal. Christ and his righteousness is the salvation of the soul.